Hello, uh, welcome to my video on how to protect your equipment from the elements. Uh, digital photography is uh, obviously all electrical and so uh, electrical items do not like water, especially salt water. A lot of cameras today are waterproof um, and some of them, uh, even the compact ones, are even waterproof down to 18 meters like the one I'm using at the moment to actually film this video. There are very good cameras on the market indeed. But failing that, if you're into SLR photography uh, and cannot afford the upper range like the 7D, uh, 5D and 1D and obviously some of the Nikon range as well and there are other makes of cameras which claim they are water resistant, they are still not guaranteed to keep the water out. This little uh, setup here, for example, the uh, one, uh, sorry, the 7D and uh, the flash being the uh, 580 EX2 uh, all have seals underneath here. Uh, they're all rubber sealed around. Um, I've used this camera quite a lot in wildlife photography uh, in showers, um, photographing monkeys up the jungle here in Borneo. Uh, one time I went out into a storm to photograph uh, the uh, torrential downpour from our tropical storms here and unfortunately um, although the rest of the camera was successful in staying dry the water landed up seeping inside the front element here uh, in fact it wasn't actually this lens it was actually this lens which I bought because of its water resistance and the water uh, entered into the filter here and somehow managed to work its way inside the first element uh, when I inspected it, when I got home, I found uh, droplets of water inside. Be warned, uh, although they say they're dust proof and waterproof, maybe just from uh, slight moisture in the air, but not exactly a, a, a thorough downpour. So how do we protect our equipment from this? Um, so we obviously can go out and buy equipment which is uh, waterproof. You can get waterproof housings for um, DSLRs which cost a fortune, anything up to a thousand pound plus. But we don't want to spend that sort of money just for a one-off, just to photograph in the rain. If you're into underwater photography, uh, serious underwater photography, you're gonna go and spend that sort of money on an underwater housing. But if you're just generally at college or university uh, doing a study, you wanna go out and shoot some photographs in the rain uh, because it's part of the course. So how do we get around it? Well, we need to cover up our equipment and keep it dry. So as you can see here on the bench we have um, simple little things which you can get from a pharmacy or a shoe shop or even go out into the supermarket and buy some biscuits quite often. Um, they have silica gel packs like this to keep the moisture and uh, damp away and stop uh, things getting fungus in them. Uh, which is a real problem out here in Borneo being that it's a tropical climate and very humid indeed. Um, we have to buy dry boxes to store our equipment in or you can buy um, a big sandwich box and buy loads of these or go and, you know, these are actually collected over the years um, and you can cram them into the box with your lenses and keep everything dry. So we're going to go and shoot in the rain and we need to protect our equipment. So those dreaded plastic bags which I have begun to hate plastic bags for the reason there's too many in the sea so just remember look after your plastic bags and uh, bin them properly uh, next thing some elastic bands uh, scissors oops <laughs> and some tape um, you can use uh, this duct tape or elephant tape whatever, whatever they call this one um, some amalgamating tape or self-fusing rubber tape very very handy the amalgamating tape is better but I just couldn't get my hands on it uh, on any at this time um, and that is all you really need so we're going to waterproof this system um, flash is good to use out in dull weather it gives a nice effect but um, also photographing in dull weather uh, with a tripod um, just be warned be careful of lightning storms, you don't want to get struck by lightning, Ooh, no way, and uh, uh, makes anybody's uh, hair stand up on air and that will. Um, we need to waterproof our camera, so any plastic bag big enough, like this for example, um, 
thread was kept in it, providing it hasn't got holes inside. Uh, just pop your lens over here. That out the way so you can see. And obviously you need to be able to operate the camera in the back or you can operate, um, you know, you want to keep it um, dry and still be able to see what you're photographing. Now, if you hold, have the um, plastic bag like this, looking through this, it's all blurred and horrible. You can't really focus properly and see what you're seeing. And also here, it's uh, pretty well, um, not exactly brilliant. Uh, although you can cut a hole here and poke your lens through it and put your elastic band out here, um, it's still not fantastic. Although you can get away with holding the camera like this, just putting it over like this, photographing your subject or looking at your subject with an umbrella, keeping it dry. The alternative way is to actually put the whole camera body into the plastic bag like this. The ways you use your strap is up to you. Um, you can pop the whole strap in if you want to. Keep the strap dry as well, but it's better to have a strap around your neck. So um, I'm not going to take the strap off, it takes far too long to put it back on again. But anything, as long as it's underneath, you can put a strap holding, you can get these straps with a screwing um, bolt at the bottom. So uh, that will actually hold and keep the water out as well because it's at the bottom. So we wrap. Our lens up like this and simply put a left band down nice and tightly like that. Now that is going to keep most of the rain out. And as for the here, you can put, just make a little notch here, little cut aperture, just wrap it forward like this, just cut a small hole, make sure it's small because it will open up big, and then on the top here, you can also put a little band round here. Keeping oops, and where we go. Right, just to show you that it can be done. And that way we have protected our camera. Simple.